Hey guys, what's up? Commando here. Welcome to my WrestleMania 31 predictions video. Before we got into that, I was going to give a little shout out to uh, the TV14 Legends and the PG Legends. I want to specifically shout out my favourites, which is the Dean Ambrose guy. Um, these comments are just hilarious. Seriously hilarious. Uh, if you haven't seen them, well, you, you know, you should go and look for them. You, you probably, you must have seen them. If you've been on a WWE video, one of WWE's videos, you'll have seen them. Especially like the Diva videos. They're hilarious. Um, love that guy. Um, and that man was the Ryback. He's probably my favourite from the, like, the PG kind of guys. Uh, his love for Big Show and Ryback and Big Show managing to do these, uh, these insane moves like uh, I, I can't even go into it it's insane like 1080 flats shooting star presses planches all these all these randomness it's it's hilarious yeah you should really uh, check check the comments out if you don't on the dodo videos you'll uh, you'll be in for a treat it's some good stuff there's a couple of others as well and um, they were also talking about Brock's pubic hair beard or something I was just like what the fuck so random so random um but that's that I just wanted to mention those two guys because they're my favorites um but let's go into the predictions video uh for Wrestlemania uh for the 17 hour pre-show we've actually got two matches now it was supposed to just be one but now it's two so that's good. The second hour is going to be the two matches, so hopefully it takes up most of that time, which should be good. Um, but we got first off, we got Tyson Kid Cesaro um, versus the New Day uh, versus Los Matadores and versus the Usos. I'm kind of surprised the Usos are in it because the thing he hurt his shoulder, Jay. Maybe he's still hurt, and they're maybe just going to restrict them. Um, but hopefully I would say Cesaro and Tyson Kidd will win this. Uh, I don't really want the Usos to win again. They've kind of been champion a while and they're kind of boring. But I'm sure I'm sure this match will be good though. But they do get a bit boring doing the same thing. And I'm... Uh, I think he, the G hurt his thing when he did a dive out the ring. And I'm surprised that he hurt his shoulder because I'm sure this was the one where he caught his foot on the ropes when he, when he, when he hurt... When he, um, when he dived out, I'm sure this is when he caught his foot in the ropes and, and sort of went down at an angle. And who, who's who been saying that it's going to happen? This guy. I told you, it'll happen. They don't, they don't clear the ropes enough. They're just, most of the times they're just clearing it. And they should be clearing it by a lot. I mean, it's their own fault, you know? Their own fault. Um, and, like, they try to be like Jeff Hardy and do the... The whisper in the wind, but they have to they have to hold on. Hardy just would jump up without holding on, and when they try to jump on the barricade, but they have to like climb up. You know what? The f what the fuck? I don't I don't get that crap. But Tyson against Cesaro will will probably win this, or they better. Um, and it's a shame it's on the pre-show again, but oh well, shit this happens. Uh, there's probably going to be like half an hour plus just for some of the entrances, like Taker, Wyatt. Rusev, Cena, Sting, Triple H, them, they'll all have special entrances. Um, but, moving on, we've got the Andre the Giant Memorial Battle Royal. And the people confirmed for it are The Miz, Kurt Zaxo, Ryback, Fandango, Adam Rose, Zack Ryder, Jack Swagger, Titus O'Neil, Darren Young. Why? I'll, I'll speak about it in a minute. Big Show, Kane, Eric Rowan, Damien Miz, Dow, Sankara, Goldust, Heath Slater, Mark Henry, Connor, Victor, and Hideo Hitami. Which really surprised me. He won the NXT tournament. I for sure thought it was Neville since he'd been been in NXT for so long. I really thought Neville was going to win and get on to it, but Hideo won. Would they actually make him win the Battle Royal though? I don't know. And just happened a few hours ago. I've been up all night. Um, well, I fell asleep. I fell asleep while watching SmackDown, just in the middle of the main event for like five hours. Woke up at like half past one. And I've been up ever since that. It's five past nine now. There's been so much shit to read. Holy crap! But NXT had held their San Jose show thing, and why they didn't tape this? The biggest show attendance for an NXT show ever, like ten times what they've what they normally get. Plus, over five thousand people's there, and they didn't tape it, which is just insane. The crowd was 
while because I've seen little videos and stuff. And Hideo Itami finally hits the GTS. Like, what the hell? And this is a non-tape thing. It's just insane. I, I don't really get it. They should have taped this since 5,000 people. Come on. Should have taped it. Um, but Hideo Itami is in... I, I don't think he won it. And I'm surprised that he's, he's even in this, to be honest. Um, I kind of feel maybe... He is improving big time with his English and that, but... Maybe he'd be better have like a manager or something, but I don't know. Um, and there was a thing with Finn Balor and Paul Heyman on Twitter. Um, there was a picture, and then Finn Balor said tempting, and it's got a ridiculous amount of retweets. It's got like, it had like six thousand retweets and seven thousand favorites. Um, so there's that, and like this whole thing with Tyson O'Neill and Dan Young, they got back together and, they, and they've done nothing. You know, they got back together and did nothing. And Conor Victor have just been losing all the bloody time. It's just stupid. I, I, I just don't get it. Um, I don't even know what to say. It's so stupid. But my picks for this are Miz, Miz Dow, the big guy, Ryback. Um, and I, if Sheamus returns in this, maybe he'll he'll win it. Um, I don't think I see Hideo Itami winning this. If he does, then, well, so be it. But I, I just don't see it, you know? It just doesn't seem right. I don't know. I don't know how they could bring him up. If this is the way, then okay, but I don't know. I don't know. And I don't think he'll get over if if he's just going to use that, that dropkick finisher. But since he hit the GTS, maybe he's going to use it. But all the dumb fans out there that don't know will just think that he's copying CM Punk, when in fact it's the other way around. But, let's just go on. The whole thing with Mizdow and Miz has been good. Um, I kind of think it could be Mizdow to win this, and then have a big feud with Miz. Who knows. Um, moving on, we've got Randy Orton versus Seth Rollins with J&J Security. And the build to this has been actually kind of good. Quite enjoyed it. Randy Orton being a bit of a badass, and the, the whole middle finger thing was was pretty cool. Um, um, I don't know. Some people think Randy Orton will win it because like the whole like Seth Rollins like beating him up and then Orton coming back. I don't know. I don't know. I mean, Seth Rollins has kind of been losing a lot lately. Maybe it's time for Seth to win. But then, what they could do is maybe have him lose, but then win later on, cashing in on the world title, maybe. Who knows? I'm gonna go with Seth Rollins to win. I just want him to win, and I think he should win. So I'm going with Seth Rollins. Next, we got Rusev uh, versus John Cena. It's saying with Lana here on on Wikipedia, but I don't know. And I have heard that she is coming back, but I don't know. Maybe she will appear and help Rusev win or something. Who knows? Because she's away filming some movie with Edge. But, um, I guess, I guess the build to this has been okay. It's seen as better when he's, when he's given, like, a more serious promo, like, instead of the corny, cheesy ones. He's, he sounds so much better when he's serious, you know. And he's, he's been, there's been a lot of that, and that's good. And the way they had Rusev, like, well, or Lana give in for the title was, I thought that was done pretty well. You know, with Cena, like, raping Rusev pretty much. Um... But, oh yeah, this is for the US title, so I'll speak about that. Um, I think that they're going to probably let Cena win this because Triple H wants to focus on the United States Championships and the United States Championship and the Intercontinental Championship because Brock's going to be away all the time and they want to sort of elevate the titles again, which is a really good idea. Thank you, Triple H. Um... So they should be getting more of a focus and have more attention and probably bring some back some prestige and make them more meaningful again, which has been needing to happen for so long. Um, so Cena will probably win this um, for that reason. Maybe Rusev would win. Like I think maybe you could keep Rusev, keep him winning it, keep him with the title for a while longer, maybe, then have him lose later on. But uh, I don't know. 
I don't know. I'm going to go with Cena. It just seems like Cena's right to win this. Um, but hopefully Rusev doesn't sort of, you know, get messed up after this. Hopefully they keep him going because he's, he's, he's good, you know. He's a, he's a good sort of... He's a not a huge, not tall height wise, but he's big muscular wise, you know. Um, and he's good and he's agile and he's he's a, he's good. I think he's got a good future. Um, and the fans clearly love Lana. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that kind of reaction for her not being there. Um, uh, when that w that weird uh, guy was out the the uh, lawyer guy or whatever um, with the fake accent and. JBL going ape shit on him, as per usual. I mean, you. I'm sure that was Vince, you know, telling telling him to go wild. But Vince is the guy that has the final say. You're you're betting your own decision. Like, <laughs> but I'm sure he doesn't blame. I'm sure he won't blame himself though. He'll, he'll blame everyone but himself. That's Vince for you. Um. But anyways, see that win. Next one, Undertaker versus Bray Wyatt, and it feels like a long time since I've bloody done a predictions video. Um. But anyways, Taker versus Bray Wyatt. Taker hasn't even appeared, which is some people say it's a good thing. But I think it's so stupid that Taker hasn't even addressed the fact that he lost to Brock Lesnar last year. That's I think that's just so dumb, you know. Like the streak was a big thing for so long, and then he doesn't even address it, you know. And he he lost it, and he doesn't address it. I think that's just dumb, you know. And then to come back and just do this with Bray Wyatt and I don't know if this will even be a good match because Taker's just wrecked pretty much he's been wrecked for years like there was a thing on that Wrestle Talk TV in the in the UK um, I, I only see like the first 10 minutes because Sky record I have Sky record when it records something I have it record 10 minutes before and 10 minutes after because there was times where it was missing the beginning of shows, so I have it record 10 minutes extra. So I seen like the 10 minutes after TNA and um, um, D.H. Smith, you know, the British Bulldog's son, well his sister was on and she was saying that Taker has like been in serious pain for years and he was struggling to get out of a seat and this was back in 2010, I think she said, so... In fact, he's still going on, you know, it's kind of crazy. You know, yeah, I have seen him on Michelle McCool's Twitter, Instagram, thingy my bob or whatever, working out and doing stuff, so maybe he's okay, but I don't know. And I, I don't really know who to, who to say to win this, you know. I really don't. It's, I just, I don't know, you know. I'll go with Bray Wyatt, but I, I really don't know, you know. I, I just don't know. What what's to gain really from beating Taker or Taker beating White? I I don't know, I don't know. Um, but Bray Bray White's promos and that's been pretty good and like the whole the whole thing with like the urn and stuff and the burning uh, thingy, uh, rock and chair and the casket things and stuff's been pretty good. But um, yeah, I'll go with Bray. But I don't know. I I just. I just don't know, you know. Like, like I say, tell me. Like I always say, tell me all your stuff in the comments. Tell me what you're thinking. Um, next, we have AJ Lee and Paige versus the Bella Twins. Um, it's just a regular tag team match. Hopefully, they get good time um, and and allowed to actually wrestle, which they have been on Raw the last two or three weeks. I think it was just the last two weeks actually, and they've actually been good matches. Like, I quite enjoyed them. They've been good. Like, actually really good. Not just for, like, because uh, for a women's match, but good for a wrestling match, you know? Um, I just think they've they've been allowed to put on more entertaining matches, and it's good, and it should happen all the time. It, um, just proving that they can actually wrestle. Um, and they had, like, a weird promo thing on SmackDown. Um... Uh, where Nikki Bella said uh, Brock Lesnar worked more dates than bloody AJ last year. I mean, I know she's just trying to get heat or whatever, but that's such a stupid comment to make. It was just, it just, it just didn't even make sense. AJ's been there loads more than Brock Lesnar. Yeah, she had a couple of breaks, like a couple months, three, four months maybe. She had like three months after WrestleMania and then maybe... Um, a month or so at the end and Brock Lesnar's been there like four days come on 
you know. But it was okay. So the stuff they were saying was was okay. It was good. I I feel that they're improving the ballads. I think they de seem to be improving promo wise. They don't seem seem so forced and and sort of like fake and phony. It seems a bit better. And there was like a weird promo thing like on Twitter. WWE's been going ape shit on Twitter, and I read all the stuff, and it's took ages to go through all this stuff they've been posting. Um, but they've gone ape. They did last year. They went ape shit on the Twitters as well. So, um, but there's a thing with them. I don't know. There's some of the stuff they say. It just seems so hypocritical, you know. And going on about bloody uh, Louis Vuittons and all this weird bloody shoes and clothes and crap that she wears. I don't know. Um. It, it just some of the stuff they're saying was just, just seems kind of hypocritical in my opinion. Um, but there's also the thing about the Bellas leaving. I don't I don't know if that's happening now, like after WrestleMania. But going by Total Divas, which was recorded back in like Survivor Series, um, it looks like they haven't left. So I don't know. But then some people are saying it's going to happen after WrestleMania. They're going to leave. So. <sighs> Who knows if that happens? Maybe they don't want the they won't have like the Bellas win at WrestleMania. They'll have AJ and Page. So who knows? I'm gonna go with AJ and Page because like the Bellas have sort of gotten the better of them most of the this feud. So I'm gonna go with AJ and Page to win this one. Um, now next we've got Bad News Barrett versus R Truth versus Dean Ambrose versus Luke Harper versus Dolph Ziggler versus Stardust versus Daniel Bryan for the for the Intercontinental Championship in a ladder match. Um, there was a thing I was just reading that apparently WWE is like really concerned about Daniel Bryan's future, um, and this just makes so no sense. It, it's maybe not true. Maybe it's one of those backstage story things that aren't true. But they are like concerned over his health and and like the like the rehab that he did. Like he didn't go for like 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 a quick fix surgery he sort of wanted to rehab him himself or whatever and they feel like he would have been in the main event or whatever if he if he'd been fixed or whatever um but they're saying that they're worried about his health but yeah he's in this ladder match where they do insane spots and are going to get hurt big time uh it just it just doesn't make sense you know like like you you're concerned about his health, but yet you're having him in this ladder match. You know, it just it just doesn't make sense to me. Um, and there was something about um, about I was reading something about that spot with Luke Harper where he landed on his neck, but apparently he said he was okay. I was reading an interview and he said he was okay after that. He said his neck was fine. And when I remember when I watched it, I thought that was sick because he landed right in his head. You know, it was insane. He said he was okay, um, but um, the build to this was going really good. I was really enjoying the whole um, hot potato thing, as they were calling it. Um, but then it just stopped. Barrett got the title back, and then nothing happened. You know, nothing was happening. I mean, the numbers coming out as the ref on Raw that was pretty funny, and the stuff he was doing, and like on the app, he had like a, a he was he was doing like a ten count thing. Um, and he got to nine, and then he got up onto the turnbuckle, and he's like, "No, no, that's it," or so, or something. And the crowd was the crowd was laughing. Um, it was really good. He was it was funny when he came out. It was just just Dean Ambrose was just a badass, you know. Love that guy. Um, but I, I I was really enjoying the whole thing, and it, I was hoping it would continue, and I was hoping it would, something similar would continue maybe after this match. But they just dropped it, you know. It was it was going so well. And our truth was hilarious on commentary. Like I, I was actually been enjoying J JBL. He's been a lot better. No burying people and less sort of shitty references. Um, but the stuff with our truth was good. Um, but also the whole Stardust Goldust thing apparently was dropped because Gold because Vince or somebody thought it wasn't getting over or something. Like, what a load of shit that was. It was getting good. It was actually going really well. And the way they did the fast lane match was actually really well. But then they just stopped it. I, th I don't think we've even seen Goldust since since then. Uh, I thought that was stupid. It was, it was going good, you know. It was going really well. And then they just dropped it. You know. 
just uh, I don't get it. I don't get it. Maybe I heard it might continue after WrestleMania, but they could have easily had a match at WrestleMania. But they want to have a bloody battle royal and all this other crap instead. Um, I don't know. But I'm sure this will be a good match. Um, but I never. I'm not getting my hopes up for any of the things because I've been. I've done that before and just get disappointed. I'm sure it will be a good match. But I'm not saying it will be a good match. Um, but to win will be Dean Ambrose or Daniel Bryan in my opinion. Or if Sheamus might be returning in this match and turning heel, costing Daniel Bryan the title and getting the title himself and then them two will feud. That's apparently might happen. So my picks are Dean Ambrose, Daniel Bryan or Sheamus. Um, so there's that. Uh, there's no way Battle will win. I don't even know why they make him champion because they just have him lose all the time. Sure, the last week or so he's been sort of beating everybody up, but they just make this guy lose all the time. Every time he's champion, they just have him lose. Stupid. Um, but next, we got Sting versus Triple H. Um, they keep saying that this is a match fans have dreamed about for 14 years. Like, is, has anybody really want to see Sting versus Triple H? Not that I'm saying there's anything wrong with the match, or that I don't like Triple H or Sting, because I do, I like them both, but I think this is a match fans have been dreaming about. Um, they've been dreaming about Sting versus The Undertaker. Um, but the build to this has been good, and it's, it's been slow and whatever, but then Sting at least actually appeared the last two weeks, which is good. I thought I thought they were just going to do an Undertaker and, and not have him show up the entire time. Um, but the last two weeks was good, like with um, where he just appeared out of nowhere with Randy Orton and, and beat up the authority, and then last this past week on Raw with um, like Stephanie McMahon coming out and being a bitch and trying to slap Sting, and Sting was like, "Oh no, you didn't!" And then Triple H came out and then Sledgehammer bat bat fight, um, but it didn't actually even happen. Um, but it's been good, you know, it's been pretty good. Um, but I was just reading the thing, Sting thinks this is going to be the last one, he says he, he would maybe he'd like to go for th the next WrestleMania, but he thinks this will be his last match, so maybe there won't be a chance of a Taker-Sting match, but I don't even know if they could pull a match off, you know, especially Taker, I just think he's kind of wrecked. You never know, maybe they could. Um, but I'm going to go with Sting. A lot of people are saying Triple H, a lot of people really think Triple H is going to win this, and I don't know, it, it just doesn't seem right for that to happen. If it does, I think it would be a stupid decision. Um, I just think Sting should win. I mean, it's his first match in WWE. Um, I just think he should win. I really do. Um, so, next, we have the final match. This predictions video is lasting really long. I'm kind of yapping a lot. Um, but we got Brock Lesnar with Paul Heyman versus Roman Reigns. The big match. Although it hasn't really had a, a big great build to it in my opinion. Yes, Paul Heyman's promos have been fucking amazing. They really have. Um, but there has been no interaction with Roman Reigns and Brock Lesnar. That was the thing that was lacking. Um, there needed to be moments happening with these two. You know. But that ha didn't happen until this past week on Raw. <sighs> Where the one of the lamest things i ever seen happened. I thought it was good when Lesnar held up the title and Reigns grabbed it. I was like, oh. And then they just had a little tug of war. It was just like, what? Why did it end like that? They, they could have had a little brawl or a push or something. Or like, Brock just like decked him and then r jumped out the ring or something. I don't know. Something should have happened. But just ending with them pulling the title like that was just, was just lame. So lame. Um, but, um... This match got a lot more unpredictable, unpredictable in my opinion, after Brock Lesnar re-signed with the WWE this week. Uh, didn't, it wasn't really uh, sure what was going to happen. I thought if if he hadn't re-signed, we might have actually seen a like a Montreal screw job type of thing. And I think if that did happen, Lesnar would. Well, I'm not going to say kill someone, but I think he would seriously hurt someone. He wouldn't be spitting on Vince like like uh, with Brett. He'd be fucking killing Vince. <laughs> He'd beat the shit out of him. For real. Um, but I, that, I don't think that's, that'll happen now. Um, I, th I, I think 
what I think should happen is Brock should win. Um, like I just the way he's been booked, like I, uh, so much so much thoughts going through my bloody head here. But I'm thinking now you can go back and watch my WrestleMania 30 thing, and you can you can hear how I felt then after the streak ending. But the way Brock's been booked is probably he probably was the best person to end the streak because the way he's been booked has been brilliant. You know, just pure utter domination and if somebody like a Bray Wyatt or Cesaro or just anybody had beat Undertaker like it would have been stupid because they would have been booked wrong you know and they would have wouldn't have been booked right so Brock uh, winning is was probably the best decision I didn't think it at the time but seeing how they've used them probably was the best person to end it but I think Lesnar should win and should hold on to it for I don't know, maybe another year, right up to next year's WrestleMania, but then lose it to Kevin Owens. Bold prediction. It should happen, though. I think that would be a good. W- that would be a good person to to take the title from Brock Lesnar because he's pretty much the same type of character at NXT, like the big monster uh, heel. But apparently, Lesnar Lesnar's more face. I would say really, he doesn't really get a heel reaction. Um, and he's, apparently he's going to turn babyface. There's rumours that Paul Heyman could turn on him. Um, but on the Kevin Owens thing, I think Kevin Owens sh- sh- would be a good guy for him to debut and, and take on Brock Lesnar. Even like the Raw after or something. Just do something crazy like that happen on Raw. Like to challenge him for the title on Raw or something like that. I just think that would be that would be a good thing to do. Just out of nowhere, you know. Um, so I think something like that would be cool to happen. Um, but if not, um, I think it's likely that Roman Reigns is going to win. I just don't think he's ready. You know, I like Roman. I just don't think it's he's ready for this. Um, I, I see the comments from people, and it, it's hilarious. Like, I'm not against Roman, and I'm not. Um, I'm not like a hater. I'm not a a lover and like close-minded or whatever. You know, I like the guy. He's he's good, but. Um, I just don't think he's he's ready for it. Um, <laughs> apparently, a lot of people are saying that um, he could win, and then Seth Rollins gushes in on Roman Reigns, um, which would be a good way to go as well. I think that that would would work better. Maybe Roman Reigns going f- up for going up against Seth Rollins, tr- challenging him, sort of like trying to chase for the title but the crowd will love Seth Rollins at Wrestlemania and the Raw after they'll they will love him if that happens and their Roman Reigns will get seriously booed it it will happen um but it's interesting you know it's it's really unpredictable it's a hard one to uh to predict <laughs> um <laughs> I want Lesnar to thingy, but I just have a feeling Reigns is going to win it. And I would love for Seth to cash in afterwards if that happens. Not like not against Roman Reigns, I just think it would be a good way to go and be the first person to cash in at WrestleMania. Oh God. Just, it's hard, you know. Um, and also, the way Brock's been booked, I just don't think Roman Reigns could beat him, you know. But, I mean, the match at Fastlane, Roman Reigns was pretty brutal, you know, with those forearms and stuff. He he did, he was, he was, they used him well in that match, but. I'm going to go with Reigns, but Seth will cash in. That's what I'm going with. Um, Tell me what you think. That's, that's the hardest one to predict, you know, that's, because it could go so many ways, you know. It could go so many ways. But tell me what you think in the comments. This has been a long one. Oh my god, 29 minutes, holy shit. Oh dear, <laughs> didn't expect to go that long. Um, that's what she said. Um, but tell me in the comments what you think. I'll have my uh, review up at some point. I have the day off on Monday, so it'll be up then. Um, what else was I going to say? Oh yeah, I'm probably going to go go and get some sleep. It's half past nine in the morning, um, so I'm then I might watch the Hall of Fame live, 
and then I'll probably be good for staying up for WrestleMania because I fell asleep last year while watching it, watching WrestleMania. Um, we'll see, we'll see about watching Hall of Fame live. I don't know, but the like the clocks w changed in America because Raw and that's been on earlier, but they changed tonight here in the UK. They go forward, so it would have started. The pre-show thing would have started at nine o'clock for me, but now it starts. It'll start at ten o'clock. And the and the and the thing starts at twelve. And yes, I know I said seventeen hours. It's just because it, it's too much, you know. There's no need for a bloody two-hour pre-show. I mean, yeah, they got two matches on it now, so that's good. Um, but I doubt they'll take up the full second hour. So we'll see what happens. Um, and I bloody order. I usually order the stuff on Sky. Um, but we got like these new doors and shit in, and the guys. Like caught a cable or something, and I think it's the cable that goes to my sky, and I can't seem to connect and order it on the box office. So I'm gonna have to fo either phone and hopefully get it ordered through there, or I don't want to watch it on the network just because the quality isn't good. You know that you need like really good upload speed and what have you. I mean it's okay for watching stuff, um, but I'm not so sure it's good on watching live stuff. You know, like I watch NXT and Superstars and stuff. Um, but, and that's okay, at times, at times can be good, and then other times it can be not so good, but live, I don't know, we'll see what happens, we'll see what happens, I've rambled on, we're here way too long, I didn't think I'd speak this long, but that's it, thanks for watching, be sure to subscribe, hit that like button, and I'll see you for the review, hopefully it's a good one, let's not be disappointed like the Royal Rumble, hopefully not. If, we're, if I'm as disappointed at the, as the Royal Rumble, well, that'll be a serious failure by Vinnie Mack and his team of ferrets. That's it.